We have a footage from above. First of all, Minami Sanrik town in Miyagi prefecture. The left, right, right down is the sea. And this is the hospital building. This is a five storied building, but、um, the water came in up to the fourth floor. And as of shortly before three, 300 patients were waiting for to be evacuated. And this is this、uh, Minami Sanrik town before the earthquake hit. This, the yellow, circled, yellow circle is where the、um, hospital is, and right above that, there is a city office. And according to the homepage,、um, this、uh, building is a two storied building. But after the earthquake, as you can see, you cannot see any building which the city office used to stand. And according to the city office, There has been no contact、uh, whatsoever with the city office. Now, this is Soma of Kushima、uh, Prefecture. And the upper part of the screen is the sea. And you can see that the water came in from the、uh, upper part of the screen to the lower part of the screen. And this is Soma. Um, before the earthquake, it is very green, and also a little below the center, you can see a residential area. And then, once again, the footage or the picture after the earthquake. The residential area has been inundated, and as you can see, it's been devastated. And this is Rikuzen Takata of Iwate Prefecture. This place has also been devastated, and the left part is the residential area, but as you can see, it is completely flooded. And this is the Kuzen Takata before earthquake seen from the same angle, and you can see that the city has completely been changed. Due to tsunami, the wooden structure buildings have all been washed away, and also other structures have also been, have been damaged. And this is Sendai Airport after the earthquake. The left part is the runway, and part of the runway is underwater. And also,、um, the area surrounding the building is covered with、uh, muds and, and stones. And this is the picture before the earthquake. And the, once again, this is the picture or footage after the earthquake.、Um, as of 6 a.m. this morning, you can see that many vehicles covered under the mud.